Hello everyone and welcome back uh, to this tutorial. So we left off last time uh, with the formulas for the characteristic impedance. So if you remember Z naught was equal to the square root of L over C for a lossless transmission line. And in this video we want to add a coordinate system into the transmission line. So first of all this is the drawing of a transmission line. You have the driver here. We have the transmission line here with Z naught characteristic impedance. We have a load here, which is called ZL, and here we have another rectangle, which is the ground of the transmission line. So, now we are going to add a coordinate system into this line. So, let's say that this is the coordinate X. So this is x and this is the positive side of x and this is x equals 0 here. Just give me one second. Okay. So, uh, the thing is, this is V, this is the driver. Uh, the voltage signal will start here, will travel down the line here. It will travel the line, will uh, load, will charge the capacitors, uh, the inductors, and the tra the voltage will <coughs> travel down this way. And here there's a load. If you leave the circuit here open, uh, the voltage will hit the end and it has nowhere else to go. It will reflect back and will travel back to the driver and that's not good. If you short the line, the same will happen. The exact same will happen, but the voltage will have its sign flipped so if the signal is positive hitting the end it will reflect as a negative uh, pulse or signal flowing back to the end however if you put a resistor of some value then depending on the value of the resistor uh, you will have either no reflection at all or you can have if you have an infinite resistor you have a plus plus one reflection coefficient and if you have no resistor or a short you have minus one this is also called the reflection coefficient is given and is given the name uh, the symbol gamma and the formula for gamma is equal to ZL minus Z naught divided by ZL plus Z naught so as you can see from this formula you can see that if ZL is 0 then the result is minus 1 if ZL is infinity the result is plus 1 and if ZL is equal to Z naught, then gamma is zero and you have no reflection at all. So if ZL is equal to Z naught, then there is no reflection and we have matched uh, the characteristic impedance of the line. So this is the optimal uh, value of resistor that you can put on the line if you don't want any reflections. If you're using digital signals, for example, you definitely do not want reflections that will interfere with our timing and everything. So now let's uh, just define some terms here. We'll call the voltage uh, leaving the driver and going uh, in this way here, we call it V plus. Now when the voltage hits here, we call the reflected voltage V minus. Also there's a current flying uh, along this line here in this direction, this is I plus. And when the current hits this end, and the voltage is reflected, there is a current going this direction and we call it I minus. Okay, so now if we use Ohm's law on the load, we know that V is equal to I on the load divided by Z. And so we know that the voltage on this load is V plus plus V minus. And so if, if we divide by Z, ZL, this is equal to the uh, current, the current uh, on this load. This is just Ohm's law. So now, now we use the current. We know the current uh, going through here. So if we write uh, V plus over Z naught, what is V plus over Z naught? V plus V plus over Z naught is just the current going in this direction. So this is equal to I plus. Now, what is I minus? I minus is equal to minus V minus divided by Z naught. Sorry, it's not minus V minus over Z naught. It is equal to, it is equal to uh, 
uh, v minus divided by z naught but because it's flowing in this direction then we put the minus sign here so this is also this formula here is also uh, equal to the current flowing through this load here because the the currents will be the same so it doesn't matter which way we write them the v plus over z naught is the current going in this direction v minus over z naught is equal to the current i minus going in this direction and so remember that the currents the voltages uh, v plus plus v plus and v minus will add on this node here so we're talking about this node here however the currents will subtract because one current is going this direction and the other current is going in this direction so these formulas here I, are exactly the same so we can equate them so we write v plus plus v minus divided by z l is equal to v plus minus v minus divided by z naught so now we just solve uh, this equation here so remember what we are looking for we are looking for gamma and gamma is defined as v minus divided by by v plus because it's the ratio of how much voltage is reflected divided by how much voltage has been put into the transmission line and is got uh, traveling towards the load so if we now uh, divide both sides of this equation here by uh, v plus then we'll have v plus divided by v plus is just one then plus v minus divided by v plus divided by zl is equal to one minus v minus divided by v plus divided by z naught and now we can write v minus divided by v plus as gamma so this is equal to one plus gamma divided by zl is equal to one minus gamma divided by z naught and now we just solve for gamma so we have that one plus gamma times z naught is equal to one minus gamma times z l and so z naught plus gamma z naught is equal to z l minus gamma z l now we solve for gamma so gamma times z not plus z l is equal to z l minus z not and now gamma is equal to z l minus z not divided by z not plus z l or z l minus z not divided by z l plus z not so this is the exact same formula that we have above here you see so this is how we derive uh, gamma so just one more time just to make sure we understand this the driver starts sending an AC signal down the, down the line this way we call this amplitude V plus this V plus will produce a current I plus along the line this V plus will hit the load here and will produce a reflected voltage V minus which goes in this direction and will produce a current I minus which goes in this direction now we know that uh, with if, if we use Ohm's law on the load we know that V plus divided by Z naught will be equal to I plus and also we know that the V minus divided by Z naught is the current in this direction here however we know that uh, also the V plus divided by ZL is the exact same I plus and we know that V minus divided by ZL is also the same current I minus here so these two expressions here are uh, identically the same exactly the same so we can solve we can equate them and then we solve for V plus V minus divided by V plus uh, which is the ratio of the reflected voltage to the incident voltage and with that we get the reflection coefficient which is uh, called gamma okay so now let's see what else we can talk about here in this tutorial so this has been 10 minutes now 
and okay i'll think i'll li i'll leave the other the next video the i'll leave the next topic to the next video okay so thank you very much for watching